the 1958 Litia Bay Mega Tsunami, the world's tallest wave background Litia Bay, located in southeastern Alaska, is a picturesque fjord surrounded by steep mountains. On July 9, 1958, the serene environment turned into a scene of unparalleled destruction when a 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck the nearby Fairweather Fault. The earthquake caused a massive landslide from the slopes of Mount Fairweather, with approximately 90 million tons of rock crashing into the bay at immense speed. This sudden displacement of water unleashed a wave so massive that it holds the record for the tallest tsunami ever recorded, 1,720 feet, 524 meters, almost the height of the Empire State Building. What caused the wave to be so huge? 1. Earthquake energy. The seismic energy from the earthquake destabilized a large section of the mountains around Litia Bay. This caused a massive rock slide to fall into the narrow fjord at incredible speed. 2. Water displacement. The force of the landslide displaced an enormous amount of water almost instantly. The confined nature of the fjord intensified the wave's height, as the water had nowhere to disperse except upwards and along the bay. 3. Wave height. The wave reached 1,720 feet at its highest point, stripping trees, soil, and vegetation from the surrounding mountainsides. The massive wave moved down the bay, flattening everything in its path until it dissipated into the Gulf of Alaska. The survivors' accounts at the time of the event, there were three fishing boats in the bay. They were anchored near the entrance of Litia Bay when the earthquake struck. Bill recalled the sight of the massive wave sweeping toward them, towering like a wall of water. They managed to ride the wave and survive, although they were thrown violently by the water. The Wagners were less fortunate. Their boat was caught in the full force of the wave and destroyed, resulting in their deaths. Ulrich and his seven-year-old son were in another fishing boat near the middle of the bay. They saw the landslide and the monstrous wave approaching. By steering their boat into deeper water and maintaining control, they miraculously survived the tsunami. Environmental impact The wave stripped trees and vegetation from the mountainsides up to 1,720 feet high, leaving bare rock visible even decades later. The event permanently altered the landscape of Litia Bay, widening the fjord and leaving visible scars on the mountains. Comparison to other tsunamis 1. 2004 Indian Ocean Tsunami Height approximately 100 feet 30 meters death toll approximately 230,000 people impact affected 14 countries devastating coastal regions 2 2011 japan tsunami height approximately 133 feet 40 meters death toll approximately 20,000 people impact triggered the fukushima nuclear disaster causing widespread destruction while the Litia Bay mega tsunami was far taller than these events, its localized impact in a remote area meant fewer lives were lost. Lessons learned 1. Understanding localized tsunamis The Litia Bay mega tsunami highlighted the immense destructive power of landslide generated waves, especially in narrow or confined bodies of water. 2. Monitoring and research The event led to increased research on landslide tsunamis helping scientists predict and prepare for similar occurrences in other regions. 3. Nature's power Litia Bay serves as a stark reminder of nature's unpredictability and how isolated regions can experience extreme geological events.